Austin and Morgan created a secret Facebook group before the official campaigning period began, giving them a 32-hour head start. Their campaign was initially sanctioned with a 48-hour ban on social media campaigning and was issued two strikes, with nine strikes leading to disqualification. Our ticket actually feels like we received um, even more of a punishment than it was intended due to all the, like, the publicity that came out after. Austin and Morgan's opponents appealed the ruling, pushing for a harsher punishment. The USG Judicial Council said Austin and Morgan knowingly broke the rules, issuing the campaign two more strikes and revoking two-thirds of the $1,500 campaign reimbursement. The Rebecca Rachel campaign was issued one strike for giving this promotional t-shirt to a friend prior to the campaigning period. They say the strike system hasn't been applied evenly. We got one strike for one person, and they originally got two strikes for 350 plus people. We do not think that is enough at all. Austin, USG's sitting vice president, told the hearing committee he broke the rules because it had been done in the past, heard here in this audio recording. The only way I know how to run a campaign is how I was, is how I was taught, how I learned. So that in no way makes it right, but that is what I knew. The Million Vorhoff campaign manager says they hope to change that precedent. Austin even said it himself, all the, all the past campaigns that he's been involved in have been doing the same thing. So right now we just want to change the, the system, the way uh, this thing is done so that it's more fair in the future. I couldn't even tell you how many infractions my ticket has right now. I, I just know we're not at nine and we're not going to get to nine. Um, and that's basically, that's that for me.